Hello class, I am just going to present my soap note to you as I would to my preceptor. I have a 15 year old Caucasian male who presents to the clinic with his mother for a wellness exam. The patient and the mom seem to be reliable historians. I'm not gonna go over all of the little uh, parts of the wellness exam that are going to be included on my soap note, but just discuss things that are pertinent for need for intervention. So um, the patient states I'm here for my wellness exam. I have also not been gaining weight and I've been feeling tired. The last wellness exam for this patient was one year ago. There, are no there were no concerns, no lab work ordered. The patient feels that he's been healthy with no complaints. Um, we'll kind of discuss a little bit more in depth the history of weight gain, fatigue. He just feels like it's most all the time. He wakes up in the morning feeling rested, but maybe throughout the day can feel tired. Um, nothing seems really to make it better or worse. Um, past medical history, there's nothing pertinent. He doesn't have any allergies, um, no use of alcohol, drugs, tobacco, or caffeine. Um, as far as diet and exercise goes, the mother and the patient concur that the patient has a healthy diet of fruits, vegetables, grains, and meats. He feels like he's eating all the time, but not getting any weight. The last 24 hours, in the last 24 hours, he's had three PB&J sandwiches, cereal, a donut, broccoli, chicken, mashed potatoes, a dinner roll, a Snickers bar, and a peach. He drinks about eight cups of water a day, and he plays soccer um, on a team, so he gets about five hours of exercise a week at least. He doesn't feel like he has a stressful life, and he feels like he gets enough sleep. He does feel like he gets eight to nine hours of sleep. Um, he said sometimes he goes to bed around 10 or 11 and wakes up at 7, so. Um, there's no relevant family history for this patient. Social history, he's playing soccer like I mentioned. He's living at home with his parents and siblings. He is not sexually active. He feels spiritually fulfilled. In the review of systems, he denies unusual weight gain. Feels like he's not gaining weight, as we've discussed. Um, the mother reports, uh, or he reports that he's been feeling some mild fatigue, but he's wondering if this is normal. Um, there are no cardiovascular respiratory issues that he reports, so no palpitations, no dyspnea, cough, wheezing, fever, body aches, chills, no signs of illness or infection that way. No pain with urination. He doesn't feel like he has any um, in over sensitivity to cold or heat. He doesn't feel like he's excessively thirsty or urinating frequently or more frequently than normal. He doesn't report any bruising or, um, or getting sick or easier or more difficult than other people. Vital signs were normal in the physical exam. General appearance, he seems to be well, sitting in the chair with no signs of discomfort, malnutrition, or stress, distress. He's oriented, memory's intact. He responds appropriately to the provider and his parents in the examination. He um, does not look malnourished. I don't know if I already said that. Um, as far as pertinent assessment uh, pieces for the physical exam, his neck is... Normal, his thyroid is not enlarged, um, no signs of infection, respiratory, lungs sound good, heart sounds good, no heaves, lifts, uh, excess work of breathing, checking for any illness or infection type things there. Um, and he, his capillary refill is within three, he uh, has good balance. Let's see. Okay, as far as the differential diagnoses go, for billing, I would say encounter for routine child health examination. Underweight status is evidenced by his BMI of 17.36, which is low. And then mild fatigue is evidenced by the patient expressing feels slightly fatigued. Things that can cause underweight status, we'll kind of talk about a little bit more, but and then mild fatigue would be anemia, so we'll check a CBC. Um, hypothyroidism, so check a TSH, diabetes, check an A1C. We can also do a spot check and see if his blood sugar is low. Um, for a, um, we can also check a spot check of a hematocrit to see if he's anemic. Vitamin D deficiency can be seen also. He is getting outside quite a bit, so I don't 
think that would be a common cause, but we can also check it. So as far as diagnostic plans, if the CBC comes back low, we can check an iron, we can check um, vitamin D and uh, folate as well. Um, we can check the CMP for look for to look for electrolyte imbalances. With the TSH, we can reflex the T4 as well. Therapeutic plan: ask the journal to keep or ask the patient to keep a journal when he feels tired, if it's act, after exercise, sleep, or if it's all the time. Fatigue can be a vague. So when it comes to patient education, I would tell them fatigue can be a vague symptom. It can be normal um, feeling after getting just a little bit of sleep or after a hard workout. If the patient feels the fatigue is getting worse, he should follow up sooner than the annual examination. Poor weight gain is specifically defined as, quote, abrupt weight loss followed by following a period of normal growth along a well-established pattern, end quote. According to up-to-date, the threshold for th further assessment include if the BMI is less than the 15th percentile or less than one kilogram every six months. Um, by the way, all of my references will be cited below as well. The follow-up plan will be to follow up in one to two weeks to review lab results and then follow up annually. Follow up if symptoms of fatigue worsen and then follow up if there's less than one kilogram in six months for weight gain. Immunizations, the next visit, he's due at age 16, he's due for the meningeal ACWY vaccine per CDC guidelines. And that will be cited below as well. And that's my patient.